to call to order the December 21st meeting of the Board of Zoning Appeals. If you would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Glenn, will you lead us, please? Thank you. Could I get a roll call, please? Wilson Bones Miski? Here. Dwayne Hogan? I'm here. Glenn Minnick? Here. Adam Kronka? Present. Greg Zabala? Here. Thank you. I will entertain a motion to approve the meeting minutes from the November 16th meeting. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as presented. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay. Minutes carry. So this evening, if you are here for petition number one, which is a special exception for Patrick Deacon for Sportman's Club represented by council, that is going to be tabled till next month. Petition number two is also going to be tabled for next month, which is a petition for variance of use for Cecil Pryor the third, And petition number four will be tabled till next month. Petition for variance of developmental standards for Sherry Nowatsky. So if you're here for any of those petitions, we'll see you next month. So moving on to petition number three this evening, which is a petition for variance of use for Abraham Obama for conducting a trucking business with a pole barn for the storing the trucks and an office building. The property is located north of 5301 North, 600 West, Michigan City, Springfield Township, zoned R1B on 4.514 acres. Petition number three, are you here? If you'd like to present your legal work to our attorney, please. I have it noticed it's adequate. Thank you. So if you would please state your name and address for the record. My name is Sir Brown Link from Obama. Um, the plot of Pasco is located at 5301 North Summer West Michigan City, Springfield. Now let's talk a little bit about your intent for this trucking company. Um, How many? Go ahead. Okay, actually, um, I'm about to start my truck. I have like, probably like two trucks already. Uh, on the way on the road. So I just got this place because I feel like maybe. Um, I need some oil, yeah, maybe any time my truck get around, we should have a case for me to pull up the park. So that's why I got this place. So I just got it by the roadside so that I have like a lot of money for the neighbors. So my office is going to be like on the side. Then the real truck is going to pull up, it will be at the back. Okay, and how many trucks total? Um, four. Four trucks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are tractor trailers. Sorry? These are semis, tractor trailers. Um, like the um, like eighteen wheelers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And do you work on those vehicles? That intend to work on those vehicles at this location? No, Mechanics? No, 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 no. 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 So just storage? Just storage. So yeah. they come in in the evening yeah. and then they head back out in the morning? Yeah, yeah. What kind of hours do you, do the trucks usually leave? Um, they leave like early in the morning, so like 5 a.m. in the morning, and they get back like midnight, and they pull up, talk to so Nine? Yeah, and they go. Um, we have remonstrators on the land. Do we have any remonstrators this evening for petition number three? Anybody for or against petition number three? Other than the letter you have, right? Right, we did receive written. Yeah, I still got it. This man raised his hand. If you'd like to have a seat, we'll hear from, from someone in the crowd. Good evening. Would you please state your name and address for the record? My name is Sadnowski, Richard A., 5301 North, 600 West. That's not guessing. 
Mm-hmm. What kind of concerns do you have? A, a lot. First and most important is the noise. There is, uh, I don't know if you all are familiar with that area, but there is a, it's a dead end road, not even a road actually. I just purchased that property. And I had no idea that there were going to be semis running in and out of there 5 o'clock in the morning and 9 o'clock at night. I had no idea. There is also a ditch creek that runs through there. And a week ago, they were stocking salmon in that creek, and I stopped and talked to the DNR. (coughs) And it is an active live ditch that runs through there. Mm -hmm. I talked to Marty at IDEM, and he understands my concerns, however... They don't police anything until after the fact. Sure. And he said he has nothing to do with zoning or permits, any such things. And I understand that, you know. Talk to the drainage board. And they understood my concerns also. But nothing we can do until there's a lot of residuals that happen with the trucking outfit and heavy equipment and such. You know, I've been in heavy construction my whole life. I understand all that. I know it. My wife is disabled. We bought that place because it was kind of secluded, and she has a sleep disorder of all things, which is the most inconvenient thing. But And looking through this, from the zoning appeals procedures, I have never got any formal notification at all as to where this was going to be. I talked to Janet twice. She said, you should have received something. I didn't receive anything. I asked about some something from the petition as to how many trucks were going to be there, what's up, what kind of a site plan. She said, we don't have any of those things. I'm a little perplexed. Doug, can you verify if he was on the list for service? Oh, where, where's your property? Next door. Just north of it. Yep, there's... Well, we have we have proof that they attempted to serve by mail. Well, how did they attempt it? I didn't get it. I don't. I'm not the U.S. Postal Service. The requirement is. <laughs> I should have gotten a green card. The requirement is that they attempt notice. I understand that, but it just perplexes me why I didn't get anything because they're there every day. Yeah. I didn't get anything on my door that said they tried to get all of me, so I don't know. I understand. I mean, I know you don't have the answer. I understand that. Well, then I'm glad you were able to make the meeting tonight so you can at least hear what his plans are, how many plans, things of that nature, and have your concerns addressed if right. possible. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do we have any further remonstrance, either for or against? Attorney BD, I do have one question. So on the printout I have from Beacon, it's showing a different owner than the gentleman in front of us? Well, maybe we can ask when he purchased it. Beacon sometimes runs one cycle behind. So in other words, the county records, if there's a transaction during this year, sometimes don't get changed until after March of next year. So, uh, I, I just looked on Beacon, and he is the owner of record. Okay, uh, okay. As of September. September. I would say, I apologize. I think I do have the wrong piece of paper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank he you. He is. If we could get you to come back up, sir. I mean, this when you overlay. Abram. If you could approach and maybe mark on the aerial photo where things are intended to go. So this is what you gave us. Okay, yeah, it comes like this. Truck is going to be like right now. Then truck is going to be like that. Then got it back. Because it's like especially, oh, especially. So it's like a little more. So that's why it's going to be right to back. So you said there's a string that runs through there. This looks like a string. No, it's not right yet. The string is like like right from the stretch. On the side, like this one. Yeah, I went to this like several times. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
runs all the way back here. And it comes out this road here and you get to the walk right through here. Okay. And this one is supposed to be the which is in front of where this cliff is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 What kind of hours of operation do you think about having? Um, I'll probably use a little bit like um um maybe like um the office is gonna be like from nine to five. Mm. Yeah, nine to five that's what Yeah. Nine to five is nine to five? Yeah, nine to five, nine to five. Um Monday through Friday? Yeah, Monday through Friday this one. That, that's one because we have to turn it in front of that house all the way back there. It's two. Yeah. What do you think, you know? Oh, this one? Oh, I'm sorry. This yeah. is it? Because it was pretty close right here. Basically, it's kind of boxed forward. That's what it is. Adam's looking at it. He's looking at it all the time. There it is. He crossed that fence to bury it because when he wants to. Yeah, I can turn it here and go back across the other side. No one agreed about the silent. Oh, pardon me? I agree about the silent. I'm concerned about the neighbors. Cool, close the neighbors. All right. Sure. Sure. Alright. Uh, most of I'd like to make a motion. Uh, petition, uh, petition for variance of use for Abraham Obama uh, for the use of uh, his property as a trucking company um, be denied as presented. I'll second it. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor of denying the petition signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Okay. Right. Your, right. your motion didn't pass. No. Thank you. Thank you. So petition number five this evening is a petition for variance of use for LLW Inc., Robert Garrick, owner, for operating a small business, insurance, real estate, coffee shop, or an apparel store. This property is located at 7421 West Johnson Road, Michigan City, Indiana, Cold Spring Township, zoned R1B on 0.47 acres. No adequate. Thank you. So I want to start off, if you would please state your name and address for the record. Sure, it's Robert Garrick, address 323A South, 150 East, in Laporte, which is 350. And Mr. Garrick, when did you obtain this property? Um, how's the exact date with me? Uh, late November, um, like third week of November. It was too late to get it into the November meeting, so we, we came to this meeting. Okay. So, which kind of business do you want to put in here? Insurance, real estate? You know, I, I, what I'm really looking for is the option to have that available to me. It's, it's um, zoned as R1B right now, as you know. Um, at that point, I could only rent it out to you know, as, a, as a family dwelling of some sort. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like the option to be able to have a, 
a clean type business like a real, real estate company or an insurance provider uh, to be able to lease that space instead of uh, leasing it as a um, as a home, uh, as a private uh, facility. So, again, just, I know at some point in the past, I don't know what it was, but there was a business operating in that facility. The front yard, if you saw the photo where it did a drive-by, it's an asphalt parking lot, the entire front of it. And um, on one part of it, they have uh, entry exit signs on the inside of the facility. Uh, it's in a terrible state of disrepair right now. It was a HUD foreclosure. Uh, so I really can't tell what they did in it. And we'll be probably demoing some of the unsafe parts of the building. Um, but I'm just looking for that, that uh, option. Um, it, it just seems that the real estate company I've worked with, they, um, they said there's a bit of a need for um, smaller square footage commercial type space in the area. It's hard to find right now, uh, and this could be a nice opportunity for a small business to be able to uh, have an opportunity to, to rent a space that's affordable. Well, I can agree with that, you know, wholeheartedly. That we are looking for small places, good places that have it. But uh, the four that you listed, which one of the four would you pick? You couldn't put all four in there. Oh, no, I'm just, it's more of just a, you know, we'll put out the market, you know, the space available and see what uh, takers there are. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I wouldn't know who would respond at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, uh, a, uh, a um, insurance company would be ideal for that spot. It's a nice frontage. There's a lot of traffic between Paws uh, um, Road and uh, 400 North. Yeah. I, I understand that fish are for the super good best there, but I was kind of reminded already that that could fit a lot of different criteria for the kinds of things you want to approve of, like some people start right. well, I at this spot for a bookstore. Well, we don't need any more bookstores or anything else like that at this time. Right. Well, is there an exclusion list that uh, has ever been talked about? I mean, mm -hmm. well, there's a variance of, or a use of denial of a certain mm -hmm. I think design. depending on the use, the type of business, we would have a different type of question. Right. right. So, in my opinion, I don't think there's enough parking there or egress and ingress off a jogged road safely for, you know, too many vehicles to be there at any given time. Right. So, that's a safety concern. Mm -hmm. um, now, if it's going to be an insurance company and there's, like, Two people that I mean, so some of our questions are going to be a little bit different, and then of course hours of operation might differ depending on the type of business that mm -hmm. that would mm -hmm. be operating. Right. Um, the like that be, that's the thing. Okay. But if I may interject, I, I see what you're trying to do, sir. But a, a zoning a zoning appeal or a zoning variance deals with a specific item. It sounds like you're wanting to change the zoning of the property, which you can do with the planning commission. Uh, if you want to be B1 had B1 two or three has certain categories as to what business can be conducted there, mm -hmm. but the zoning board is a specific request right. type entity. Right. Okay. Well, if I could ask this question, then if I if I go ahead and do my renovations mm -hmm. and have a, a particular tenant that's interested, could, is that the way to do a usage variance to come in and say, I have yeah, to the tenant is it could be an ice cream shop. Right. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. well, I, that that. That may be simple. That's exactly how you can do it with the DZA. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that if that business needs to operate, you have a different type of business coming, you have to go back and ask for a variance for that. I understand. I'm just okay. that, that might be easier than trying to get a zoning change. Yeah. I don't know how easy it would be to get a zoning change off for that building. Uh, I probably talked to this the one parcel. Okay. I, and I see where you're coming from. Right. It's just there's no way I can draft something that can give you a variance. When, yeah. because of the way stats are set out, they have to go through some specific items, and those are based on what type of business is there. Okay. That's how they make their decision. And you can't, you can't do it. So let's say, if, for example, it was insurance and a real estate provider. You know, those are the two types of businesses. I, I couldn't get a use of variance for that very specific limited scope. Well, it's up to the board.